Well, history is on the move. A local landmark has a new place to call home. The McNabb House in Pompano Beach, which was built in 1926, now has a brand new location. Yeah, it does. It took quite a while and some special maneuvers to move this 450 ton house. Local 10 News reporter Syra Anwar is live in Pompano Beach with this story. Syra. So this was pretty neat to see a house rolling down the street. This uh, this house was built by Pompano Beach's original founders, the McNabb family. It's 94 years old and it used to sit on the 1700 block of East Atlantic Boulevard. Today it sits at a new address at McNabb Park. It's not just that we're moving a house, but this is the history of our city that is going to be preserved forever. Quite a sight in Pompano Beach Saturday, the McNabb House rolling five blocks down Atlantic Avenue to a new spot. People line the street to get a look or snap a pic of the 450 ton two story home that was built 94 years ago by Pompano Beach founder Robert McNabb. Florida Power and Light on site to swing traffic signals out of the way of the house. It's a good economic development engine, but you know, remembering what this is for, for the city of Pompano Beach, the founders of this, this community, and that's, uh, it's tremendous. I went to school with the grandson, Dennis McNabb. Kenny Brister lives in the neighborhood and recalls seeing the late Mrs. McNabb sitting on the front porch of the historic home. He says she would give the neighborhood kids cookies as they played outside. Kind of emotional. To, to see the house being moved and whatever, but uh, it's uh, and, but I'm, we're happy that it's gonna they're gonna move it to the park and they're gonna restore everything. Built back when people favored high ground for their homes over waterfront views, what a difference a near century makes. The house's new home a few blocks away, appropriately enough, at McNabb Park. A developer purchased the home's original land with plans to convert it to mixed use buildings, residential and retail space. I'm glad we're able to save the house and you know, save it from the wrecking ball because that's what would have happened eventually. So much history here. This was actually the first house in Pompano Beach to get electricity. This move started this morning. You can see it's still a work in progress. Still people stopping by to take a look at it, to take pictures. No word yet on when those wheels will come off. That's the latest live in Pompano Beach. I'm Sarah Onmore, Local 10 News. Stay with us.